everybody! So I hope you guys had an awesome new year. Um, I had a really, really fun one with my friends. And today I'm going to be doing a top, I guess, beauty products of 2011. I didn't want to do any of like the tags or stuff because I just had really a lot of stuff I wanted to show you guys. So I just kind of made things in my own order. I chose three different um, things for each category. I have face, eyes, lips, hair, brushes, and hair. I already said that. Um, but yeah, and also one more thing, a lot of people wanted to see more fashion videos from me. I don't know why I haven't done very many of those, but I'm in my hat is falling off. Okay, um, but anyway, so I'm going to do, start off this video with an outfit of the day. Okay, so this is my outfit. I don't know if you'll be able to see that well, but this is just a, um, striped, um, what are these called? Crop tops. And this is by Max Ezria, however you say that. Um, and then I'm wearing this black tank top underneath that is from for, no, American Eagle. And then I'm wearing this really pretty um, bird, not bird, owl necklace from Route 21. These shorts are from Guess, I think. Yeah, from Guess. And then these are just some leggings from Forever 21. These boots are from American Apparel. And my hat, this little, I don't know what it's called, um, is from Forever 21. And my hair was just curled with my um, Revlon 1 inch. So yeah. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with my favorite palettes of 2011. Um, so there's three that I've been loving. The most recent one I've gotten is the Urban Decay Naked palette, which is so amazing. I used to not think, what's the big hype about this? It's just a palette with boring colors. So, but I bought it anyway, and they just have these gorgeous neutral colors. And this has probably been what I've been using on my eyes ever since I got it, which was probably a few months ago. And I know that's not the whole year, but I just wanted to show this in because I'm probably going to be using this a lot. And... Oh gosh, uh, the lid, the cap, cu not the cap, the cover like fell off of it, so it's just like one thing. Um, but this is my BH Cosmetics 88 Colors Matte Palette, and I got this two years ago, and this has probably been the most great palette, especially for all of the makeup artist work I do. Um, this has a bunch of different colors, and it's great for everyday, not everyday, but like any types of looks. Um, I've hit pan on a lot of the colors already, so I'm probably gonna have to get another one soon. I mean, once I'm done with it, but it's like breaking apart. That's how long I've had it. And then the next favorite palette is this Camouflage Concealer Palette from Coastal Scents. And it has 10 really great concealer shades. Again, it's really great for my makeup artist work when I'm doing girls that have different color skin tones that are darker or lighter. You can custom mix and create the right shade. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry about my nails. They look hideous. Um, then I'm just going to do some face products. Um, okay, sorry for the quick location change. Um, there's company over and I don't want them to hear me um, just talking to myself. So I went in Tessa's room and she's not home right now, so I don't think she'll mind. Um, but yeah, where I stopped, um, I'm going to go on to the face products. So the best face purchase I've ever made is this is by Maybelline and this is their Mineral Power um, Face Powder in Light and as you can see I've already hit pan on it which is pretty good because I've had this for a really long time. This gives amazing coverage and it really is really nice to set off my concealer. And then the best bronzer this year has been my NYC Sunny Bronzer and this is only like a dollar so it's really good and yeah. It's really natural and pretty looking. And then my favorite highlighting um, product is, is by MAC. And this is Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And it's this really pretty like gold champagne-y color with a lot of frost in it. This is how it looks. It's really, really shimmery and perfect for like highlighting. So the next three are eyes. And my favorite eye shadow is this is by Maybelline and this is give me gold and I use this so much they got these really pretty shades of gold I love this quad to death these colors are just so pigmented and they would work really nice on any skin tone they're just great for like every day and 
Next is my Revlon eyelash curler. Honestly, a lot of girls that I know, they don't even need a lash curler because their lashes are so long and curly already. But I was not blessed with those type of lashes. My lashes were very straight and I don't know. So I definitely need an eyelash curler because it makes a huge difference when I do my mascara. And then I love this Maybelline um, Blackest Black um, Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. And it's just black. I like to use it on my upper lid and my waterline and it stays on really long and it's super super black so I like it for like dramatic looks. Moving on to my next three favorites which are my lip products. Um, so first I've been really liking my EOS lip balm and it's kind of flattening right now but I love this so much. I got this at Ulta and it was a couple of dollars and I know that everybody loves the EOS's um, but yeah it's really nice just for school. Next, I love this MAC lipstick, which I use a lot. It's called Angel, and it's a really pretty, like, baby pink color, and, yeah, it's just a pink. And then my favorite lip gloss, which I think looks really nice with my skin tone, um, this is a Stila lip glaze in Kitten, and it's just, like, a apricot -y gold bronzy color, and I love this so much. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys my top three brushes of 2011. Um, to start off, I really like my MAC 187 Duo Fiber Brush, and it looks like this, and I love to apply my foundation with this, just so it really gets even coverage all over my face, and yeah. Next, I've really been liking my MAC 224 Brush, and it's basically just a typical blending brush, and it's really nice. It works so well if you want to blend colors. And then I was going to include my MAC 129 blush brush, but then when I thought about it, there was one brush that I really took for granted. I never really realized how good it was until I actually thought about it. But this is by Eco Tools, and this is a small angled brush, and this is amazing for lining your upper lid with um, eyeshadow and smudging eyeshadow and putting underneath the eyelid. This works amazing like no other brush. Um, but yeah, and this is only a couple of dollars at the drugstore. Okay, and then the last category that I made is hair. So to start off, I really, really, really love my Conair Infinity Curling Wand. Um, I don't like to wear this on the first day because it's really tight curls. Um, but then I sleep on it and then it turns out to be really relaxed, wavy hair. Well, this isn't curled with this. This is with my Revlon one. Um... But yeah, and then if I don't shower for the next couple of days, the curls will last for like three days or two. Depends how well I take care of it, but I really like this curling iron. And then the next thing I really like is this Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. It looks like this. I used to like my Chi 44 Iron Guard, but I found that's better for flat ironing than curling because it can kind of drag my hair down if I spray it first with that. But this is actually made for flat ironing, curling, um, and blow drying, so I really like this. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you spray it, the mist gets everywhere. So you have to be really direct about where you, um, aim it. And then the last thing I really like, um, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but this is by Herbal Essences, and it is the Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel. And I use this for two things. One, I use it for after when I finish curling my hair. I like to get about a pea size amount on my hand and then just scrunch my hair a little bit so I can kind of shape the curls in the way I want them to. And another way I love to use this is for if I want to scrunch my hair for kind of like that um, beachy hair effect. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on hair scrunching, you can let me know because it's really easy. And then... I'm just going to throw in a little bonus favorite um, because I love this. I've probably gone through a trillion of these this year. But this is the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. And they're cleansing towelettes and they take off all makeup. It doesn't matter how dramatic it is because I know when I try to use foaming cleansers, um, the ones you put on your hands and you wash your face, I feel like it just is a little bit harder to get in. And also I tend to get those type of formulas in my eyes. But with Neutrogena Makeup Wipes, they're so easy. Um, you just take it out and you wipe everything off and it literally takes every trace of makeup off, which is really good um, because I love to do really dramatic and crazy looks. So this really takes off everything in like a few seconds. 
Um, but yeah, so that is it for my favorites of 2011. I hope you guys enjoy and have a great year. Um, and also don't forget, if you want to ask me any questions, go to my previous video, which was a questions video where you can ask me anything you want, because I just want to let you guys know a little bit more about me. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching.